This is Legal 101 with Legal QT. She underscore ya underscore lawyer on Instagram. So we already saw this first Karen, okay? It's very I'm not gonna refund. You ate it? Ma'am, you ate like half of the burger. I took two. That is not half okay, the burger. Okay. I look at this, people. Okay. I will put it together. I took people. two bites. I'm not gonna refund. And I found you no can sauce. Yep. You can I can go. Just call security. Yeah, Get in. Do that. Oh, bitch. bitch. There's your money. You have no right to do that. You're fired. No, You're out of here. What is your name? I want your business card. Are you have a business card? I want a business you're card. What's your name? What's the manager's name? Bye, you're a lady that's I just you recorded. Know. And there's an issue with what she did. Y'all, you have to keep your hands off of people and stop throwing things in public. Another thing you cannot do is curse. So we're going to talk about this, okay? Because I myself, well, we're going to talk about this, okay? Okay, so touching individuals, okay? If that touching is unwanted equals battery, okay? I use this in trial or better known as assault. Okay. Now assault can be oral or physical. Okay. Okay. And many agencies and many jurisdictions term a battery as an assault. Okay. So she was very much messed up and wrong when she first of all asked for her money back because we know that we work. I myself worked in food service positions for a very extremely long time. I've also uh, been a bartender for an extremely long time. Matter of fact, I think my TABC may still be active. And I'm saying that to let you all know that you cannot go to a restaurant, a place of business and act a fool. The customer is not always right. And I'm going to show you what the Karen did wrong, and I'm going to tell you what you need to do if you encounter this situation. That is an unwanted touching. The first thing I want y'all to do is, because I myself have an issue with my mouth, okay? Don't curse. Let them do all of the cursing, okay? That's the first thing that you want to do. We're not going to curse, okay? Because they're in public. There should be no cursing at you, okay? When they curse at you, that is automatic ground for you to call the police. And we need to start getting these cameras locked up because their mouth is foul. And you can go to jail for your mouth, okay? And this was being recorded. You record these cameras cursing at you and you call the police. That is disorderly conduct, okay? There are different types of, of, of disorderly conducts out there. Anytime you are acting a fool in public and cursing, you can go to jail or you can get a citation and they are high, okay? So you're going to call the police. You're not going to curse. Okay, you're not going to allow them to touch you with anything, even if it's an object, a fry, a straw, nothing, spit. These things are unwanted touching and they are batteries, which equal assault. Okay, and so then you need to let the police or whomever know that they have assaulted you or battered you. Okay, these are words that are buzzwords that they hear when you call. So they'll send an officer out. There is disorderly conduct. This person is cursing loud and acting a fool in public. There is unwanted touching going on. There's been a battery and or an assault. These words will trigger the police. Now, Karen, you were lucky because you would not be coming in any of my establishments acting a fool, okay? And you wouldn't get your money back for a half-eaten burger either, okay? You will get the cops called on you because you're always calling the cops on us. So don't come in my establishment or the establishment of any folks, okay? And do that. Because you could very well be going to jail. Y'all understand? So this is how you deal with Karens that come to your establishment with their mouths acting a fool. You call the police on them. It's disorderly conduct. And if nothing else, they can, go, they can go deal with the city or the county prosecutor about their mouths and about the fries that they threw and everything else. Don't touch them back. The only issue that I have is that they did it back. Don't do it back. Okay? I mean, you have the right to defend yourself. You do. But you have to understand that them throwing something on you and then you throw it back is going to make an officer say, well, you know, at that point, the threat was removed. She threw a burger. When you threw it back, y'all are wrong for the same exact thing. We want this Karen to go to jail. We want them to keep their hands off of us. That's what we want them to do. So what we're going to do is, oh, we're just going to hit, hit, you know, miss, miss. Okay. And then we're going to call the police on their ass. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Next case with the Karen. Okay. But we're going to go through our review. Our review is no touching unwanted these people keep their damn hands the off of us yes they will and then it's a battery or an assault we're gonna call 911 like they like to call and we're gonna use those key buzzwords also if they are cursing loud we are not cursing with them let them curse okay by themselves 
They can go to jail for disorderly conduct and or get a Class C misdemeanor ticket for disorderly conduct. Nonetheless, we're going to take up Karen's time, if nothing else. And we're going to teach Karen that if she messes around, she's going to have to find out. All right, until next time, it's your favorite attorney, Attorney Ali Booker, Legal Cutie. Others know me as she underscore ya underscore lawyer on Instagram. And I'll be back with some more tips and tricks to get rid of these cans because we done had enough. Next. I think it's time I made that call. I'm locked up and facing charges. Who gon' fight these cases for me? I call both the law firm. They got the job done. They were right there for me. For more information, contact the Booker Law Firm at 713-292-2225.